Summer Tornado Fishing with PainsPaddleFish.com Featuring Hags Tornadoes Today we're out on a lake in Hubbard, Texas Fishing with the Hags Tornado in the F8 The 8 inch tornado size A lot of people think that a worm this size just doesn't consistently put fish in the boat or scares away too many fish. Today, we're definitely proving that wrong. Check out this footage using the F8 Pags Tornado. The go-to pattern seems to be a weightless F8 on a 6-aught or 8-aught extra wide gap gamakatsu hook. I'm fishing 10 pound fluorocarbon line on an Abu Garcia Revo S reel, left handed as you can see, and a Trinity Custom fast action rod. We're throwing the bait out on top of weed lines and dragging it across, ticking the top of the weeds, and what's happening is as soon as it drops off the edge of the weed line, the fish are picking it up. And the thump is very similar to a fish hitting a jig. Uh, you're getting a definite hard tap tap and they're running away with it. These fish were definitely hungry. And we could see that over and over again. The conditions we were fishing in today, um, it was about 95 degrees, south-southeast wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Luckily this lake is in a large bowl so we didn't get a whole lot of wind. Um, what we were seeing is very clear water. It's been about 12 days since it's rained at this lake and so you can see 6 to 8 feet down to the bottom of the lake, almost to the deepest parts of the lake and see the grass. When you stand up on the kayak you can actually see the highways that the fish run back and forth into the shallows and back out to the deep water to chase bait. The most productive color pattern that we saw today was the watermelon green with chartreuse uh, on the Hags F8 Tornado. We later figured out why it was that this bait was so popular. The main forage in this lake is a type of bluegill with a tail that you could really see stood out uh, with some chartreuse markings on it. Uh, when you look down in the water you couldn't necessarily see the, the fish themselves because they were camouflaged but you could always see the tail which had chartreuse markings on it and so the watermelon chartreuse really played a part in that today and we were able to hook up with a lot of fish. We're only able to show you a few today but our estimated catch between two of us today was a little over 70 fish. It was a great day on the water, they kept eating, and they were definitely not scared of that 8 inch worm. As you can see, most of the fish we caught were around 14 inches. We caught some to 16 and 17 inches, but most of the fish were in the 14 inch range. It was a great, great fishery that I always enjoy the opportunity to be able to go out and fish. and. I hope to be able to bring you more videos soon.